Hey guys, this is Veron from Speak of the Stars and welcome back to my channel. So today, we are doing the 8th installment in the Flora series, which we are doing the flower, the Gladiolus. Gladiolus. I don't know how to pronounce it properly. We'll just go along with it. <laughs> so if you hear any background noises, that is because A, my dad is watching TV and he watches it at a very high volume. And B, it's raining. There's a storm right now here as of recording. So... Yeah, it's gonna be a bit noisy. But anyway, we will jump into Gladiolus. So the meaning of the Gladiolus is strength of character, moral integrity, remembrance, infatuation, and honor. Now, I latched on to the three um, more unique characteristics. Because like, remembrance and infatuation, we've seen that with a lot of other flowers. Like, even in the series itself, maybe one or two um, flowers have already had that sort of meaning. So I went with strength of character, moral integrity, and honor as the main themes for this drawing. Now, I had a lot of fun with doing Gladiolus because if you've been here maybe for a year or maybe even less, you would be familiar that I really, really like... Um, high fantasy type of themes. I used to read a lot of books that had like dragons in it. So, namely Aragon. Um, what is the other book? Anyway, I can't see it right now because I have bad eyes. But um, Dragonlance. There we go. The Dragonlance series. I really love that set of books. So that was like elves, mages, knights swordsmen, rogues, things like that. So I really love that kind of theme. Uh, even in games, those are my favorites. But I really haven't been doing a lot of night-themed drawings in a while because I've been trying to bench out my art. Um, I'm trying to take on a little bit more variety in the subjects that I draw. And, you know, like, once you've been doing something for years and years, since, you, since you've been younger, you sort of... Uh, Try not to do the same, the same thing over and over again. So it's been a while since I did something with a knight or a knightess in it. Yeah, sort of. I did the swordswoman, but not a knight. But So I was really excited to do this. When I read the themes, I kind of knew immediately what kind of girl I wanted to draw. Now it's just a matter of composition, how the flowers would interact with her. And all of that stuff. So you saw the sketching phases a little bit. We just finished the lining phase just now. Um, I'm skipping out on a lot of details and clips because I did draw with a colored pen this time instead of like pencil rather. Like, uh, as you can see, I drew with a green colored pencil instead of lead because I feel like I can see a lot more details that I've drawn with the colored pencil instead of the lead. Um, so yeah, that's just that thing. So this will be a bit of a long video. You will see here just with the flower along, alone. <laughs> along. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Um, you'd see here with the flower petals alone. I'm trying to be a bit more detail-oriented with my drawings. So, especially with colored pencil. With watercolor, because I'm extremely fond of that medium, I could spend hours and hours just using watercolor. But with colored pencils, I tend to get a little bit impatient with them. So sometimes I would skimp out on a lot of details that I could be doing. But that is something I'm trying to remedy. So as you can see with the flowers alone here in the top left corner, I'm already using like what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 pencils right away. And I'm trying to add in more details that I see in the flowers themselves. And you know, just, just trying to improve myself as an artist. So hopefully I'll be able to remember to do that across all mediums. Or when I draw again with colored pencils maybe next month, I'll also try to remember to do that. So the, the gladiolus actually comes in a vari variety of colors. Like there's, I saw like yellows and I saw um, purples and pinks and blues and all of all sorts of colors but I felt like I haven't really done an intense feeling 
intense colored flower. So I decided to do this particular variety. What do you call it? Mm. Is it no, it's not variety. Because varieties were fruits. Huh. I forgot what they call like version. I'll remember my words eventually. I haven't my brain is not working. <laughs> So what I decided to do with Gladiolus was that I wanted the night test um, to be not in a very action-y feel, but more um, calm and centered, literally in the canvas. But but she feel like you want I wanted her to feel like she is in control with herself. Um, she has the strength of character. <laughs> And yeah, cause because of the more integrity and honor part of the theme, I didn't want her to be like charging in um full action scene type of move pose, move um view type of, yeah. <sighs> Dang it. My brain's not my brain's not working. Um but yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. I didn't want her to be in action. I wanted her to be still composed. Um, just by being there, just by standing, you can feel the power from her type of thing. And I think I pulled it off pretty well. <laughs> I can I really like... Huh. When I finished the drawing, to be honest, I wasn't particularly proud of that Jolus. I loved how the girl, how the night test turned out. But the background was a bit of a disappointment. I wanted to do like a bokeh. Not bokeh. Bokeh. Like that, those lights, such that those out of focus lights type of thing. I wanted to do that in yellows and oranges and to have that background for her to make it seem like she's maybe gathering power. But as you will see later, I didn't get to do that properly again. <laughs> even the color scheme was decided from the very start. Sometimes I have poses or drawings that from the very start I sort of already know what kind of composition, what kind of color I want for the feel of the piece. Sometimes I don't follow it. Like with last month, I didn't get to follow my color scheme in mind. But this time I wasn't really set. I just saw the flower. I saw it as very warm. So for the night test, I wanted to give her more grounding, um, contrasted colors so that it wasn't too hot to look at. So that is how I that's how I decide on colors sometimes. Um, that's something you might be able to adapt in your drawings or in your techniques. Um, me sometimes I would just like do the sketch, do the drawing. If there's one element that I'm already sure of, for example. In this case, I was already sure of the flowers, what colors they were gonna be. I based the other parts of the piece on the thing I wanted to be the most eye-catching. In this case, I wanted the flowers to be the most eye-catching. And then from the flowers, um, using compositional techniques, I would draw it down to the nightest. And... Yeah, so that's why my color scheme this time does not involve blue <laughs> or purple. It It's warm, but it's not seemingly bright, I guess. Because I think I've talked about that a bit in a couple of older videos, that I tend to default to blues and purples when I don't have a color scheme in mind. But I've also been trying to expand my repertoire. <laughs> quote unquote. So, yeah, um, I'm happy. At first, I wasn't really happy with Lajolus, but in the end, um, thinking about it logically, what I wanted to do, what I wanted to achieve, um, in a macro view, I'm pretty happy that this is different than what I've usually done. So now we're working on the background. As I said earlier, I wanted to do a bokeh type of background where 
it's like saturated or out of focus lights. So it becomes like those circle thingies instead. Uh, I did not achieve that. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't wrap my head around it. So I did like this. Okay, it's maybe do this like orangey hot type of background instead. But the flowers blended in with it too much as well as the tips of her hair. And it felt overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly bright. So what I did instead was take a red or a, a darker red. At first I thought, oh, let's make it up with some lines and texture. So I did the, that stripe pattern in the background. It looked way too busy. So instead, I would erase all of my hard work with those, with the oranges and discovered it in red. Now, it still looks pretty cool um, in the sense that because there's a yellow and an orange underneath, the way the red looks is not true to how it would look like just plainly off the marker. It has a more brighter yellowy undertone instead because it literally is under the red. So I, I like it. It's not 100% what I thought I would be, you know, drawing. I had a different image in mind in terms of the background. But two out of three. It's pretty good. <laughs> so I'm just doing some um, white gel pen just to break up some of the solidity of the background. And we're done. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to me talk about the two <laughs> I messed up at the end. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed listening to me talk about the gladiolus. Um, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and DeviantArt if you would like to see more things like this. Like and subscribe too if you enjoyed this video. I do a lot of things like these in general. And I'll see you around.